Well, it's 6.15 in the morning, and it's time to head to VCF East 2024. But first, I have to go pick up Mark. Got all our stuff. Got the lawn crew here. Mark's ready to go. Let's roll. So here we are at BCF East 2024, and I've just parked in the exhibitor parking, and now I'm walking into the facility itself. Now operated by InfoAge, the site of Camp Evans was originally a Marconi wireless station, and later a military site for radar and communications research during World War II and the Cold War. So I'm walking in to help Mark get the exhibit set up. We dropped off all the gear and equipment. <laughs> we planned our exhibit to help introduce the VCF crowd to what a friend of the channel has termed Netro, or retro networking. We wanted it to be interactive, so we thought reliving the glory days of personal web pages from the late 90s would be the perfect exhibit. Our setup consisted of a Dell Dimension XPS D300 from 1997. The system was loaded with Microsoft Front Page 98 and a ton of animated GIFs from GeoCities, including over 200 under construction GIFs for attendees to use to craft their very own web page. The real stars of the show, though, were the Cobalt Rack 3 and Rack 4 we brought along. The racks have Front Page server extensions, making publishing from Front Page super simple and seamless. We also threw in a wireless access point so attendees could connect to our network and browse our unofficial guide, as well as a mini PC to see the demo sites that they were editing. We also brought along some terminal servers to give attendees a look into some of our other interests. On the opening day of the exhibits, we weren't sure how the VCF crowd would receive our exhibit but we were so happy with everyone's enthusiasm. It was cool to see people's faces light up when they saw their additions to the webpage appear almost instantaneously on the published page hosted on the Rack 4. There were loads of other interesting exhibits though, and we were especially impressed with the exhibit from a group called Genericables. They had an incredible array of cable TV equipment, and even an emergency broadcast test that gave everyone a heart attack multiple times a day. The weekend featured many talks like this one from Bart, representing the Home Computer Museum in the Netherlands. BCF also has their own museum on site, and there was loads of merch available as well. We met several other YouTubers, some for the first time in person, like Lab Retro, well known in the Netro community. Overall though, it was a whirlwind of a weekend, and we were happy to have been able to participate. And thanks to all those that dropped by the exhibit to say hi, and special thanks to VCF for welcoming us into their world.